Hi, Heather here with a tech tip for the day, how to hyperlink using Google Drive. Hyperlinking is a super cool skill and students love adding this additional layer to their writing and you get a lot of bang for your buck as a teacher. Um, I'm going to give you some examples of hyperlinks that my students have used in their own writing and then I'll talk you through a little bit about how to do it using Google Drive because depending on whether you're on a laptop or you're on an iPad, it's a little different. So I thought I'd just walk you through it. So for this current group of students, they were role playing for their narrative unit as superheroes and they had to write origin stories, but they had to have facts embedded into their origin stories. Facts based either in the science of superheroism or the historical period in which their um, superhero was born. So I'll show you some examples. Some of the final drafts have just started to come in. Here's one student who starts her hook, the bell cheery and bright tinkled softly again. That's an interesting little hook. And she kind of links to a page, um, a government warning, I believe, on avalanches and what avalanches can do to certain areas of the world. This is another student um, whose character's mom dies of lung cancer. And here it links to um, a .gov page on lung cancer. Another origin story I noticed started with some information on antibiotics. Uh, I think it's a definition page on antibiotics. Now, I don't limit uh, asking students to link. I don't limit that for solely narratives. They then, once they learn how to do it, they then can use it for all sorts of uh, genres. So for instance, here's one, a literary analysis from a couple years ago based on Perry, Gary Polson's uh, Stop the Sun. And this student linked to a .gov page on post-traumatic stress disorder for his hook. And then further along down the um, down into the introduction paragraph in his thesis statement, he links to a Merriam-Webster definition of empathy. Perhaps he didn't think I would trust that he knew what the word meant. I don't know. But since it's a key term in the story and a key, key theme in the story, it was a very appropriate word to hyperlink to. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do it. So I just typed up a, a sentence here, two sentences based on myself. I'm a big fan of Peter Pan. In fact, I have a number of various illustrated editions of Peter Pan starting all the way back to 1904. And it's true, I am a bit of a geek for Peter Pan. So on a laptop, it's kind of simple. If I just kind of highlight what it is I want to link to, and I've decided I'm going to actually link to the statue uh, in Kensington Gardens, I'm just going to copy it go back to the document. I'm going to click on this little chain icon and link right here and paste it and apply. And voila! I have a hyperlink. Now on an iPad it's a little trickier because even if you're using a stylus, things like highlighting um, is funky. And that's kind of right now anyway until they, they fix that, it's a little tricky. But um, the iPad does have a way to get around that. And, uh, and here's how. So let's say for a second, I actually didn't have these words Peter Pan here. What I could do instead is go to the chain and I would link, there's my link, and the text I would type in would say Peter Pan. And then there it is. And that becomes a live link. So they actually do have a little way around it. It's not quite as intuitive as it would have been, but just as easy. So there you go. Hyperlinking in Google Drive. It's an easy skill to teach, and it's an easy way to uh, assess comprehension as well. You get a lot of student engagement for your buck, and it's a skill that they can take from genre to genre to genre throughout the school year. Try it, and let us know how it goes. Take care. Bye-bye.